Overtime's Ann Silvio talks with Dr. John LaPook. John, you reported on a medical breakthrough on 60 Minutes this week. How significant is this for sickle cell anemia? I think it's a big deal. It's a proof of concept. It says we can actually do this. We can fiddle with the genes and we can cure somebody with sickle cell anemia. Are you daring to say there's a cure for sickle cell anemia with this treatment? I am daring to say a cure for sickle cell disease may even be now at hand. Was there a voice in your head that was telling you, let him say the word cure, I'm not gonna say it? Oh, I would never have said the word cure. We're people of science, but you don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> you know, like, okay, if we don't say it. Um, but yeah, I think from everything it looks like, it looks like a cure. And for me, it's especially emotional because from 1976 to 1986, 10 years when I was seeing a lot of people who had sickle cell anemia, and I could tell you their names still, and I won't for HIPAA reasons, mm. but one after the other, they died. You couldn't help them? All you could do was give them pain medicine. Mm. Uh, so it was a very helpless feeling. So I was taught first, it was like the first month of medical school, someday we're gonna have a cure for sickle cell anemia. That was 1976. And so for me to see that, that patient right in front of my eyes, who's cured. You're talking about Janelle Stevenson. Janelle Stevenson. Good, just relax, and you fall. Boom. So when you started reporting this story, did you know what the outcome was gonna be, that this would be successful? Not at all. In fact, I didn't know if it was gonna work. Janelle hadn't gotten any treatment yet. Her whole life, she's been a sick person. It's a very sharp, like stabbing, almost feels like bone crushing pain. She thought she was gonna die early. She had a lot of friends who died early. You just seem so happy now. I, am. I, am. I really am. <laughs> she's given up things though. I understand she's given up um, the choice to have children. Right, that was part of the, the chemotherapy. What was explained to you about the possible side effects? That my reproductive system would have been kind of wiped out from the chemo. Mm -hmm. um, Forever? Yes. So, um, yes. <laughs> I just, I came to terms with it, because to be honest, I wouldn't want a kid with sickle cell anyway. It's a really rough disease, and I would never want to see an offspring go through it. And she also risked her life to even go through this. 60 Minutes has aired stories about the dangers of altering mm -hmm. genes, um, messing with the human genome. Is that fear part of this story? Yes, because no matter how you're doing it, I mean, you're fiddling with the genes of a human being. Once you put that gene into somebody, you can't unput that gene into somebody. At least not now. In the future, they talk about having a kill switch so that if things go wrong, you can somehow turn the gene off. But um, that's one of the big fears, and there have been real calamities, death from, uh, from gene therapy in the past. Well, you talk to Janelle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. She knew all this. This is fancy genetic tinkering, mm -hmm. and it involves putting different kind of genes inside of you right. that you normally don't have. Right. Does that give you any pause? I was terrified at first. I think they were using the HIV virus or something just because it spread so well. Right. A yes. weakened HIV virus right, of course, that of wouldn't course. give you HIV. <laughs> of course, of course. For anyone who was around during the HIV epidemic, mm -hmm. you know, going back to the, the 80s. March of 1981, my first patient with HIV. Yeah. First bed on the left in the intensive care unit. So now you're doing a 60 minute story and HIV is really the secret weapon to curing disease. <laughs> it's amazing. Isn't that amazing? This is a great example of why you have to put money into basic research. Who would have known that figuring out how the HIV virus works would help you probably cure sickle cell anemia someday? We don't know what we're gonna use. You know, we're building up all these tools. We're doing all this basic research. If I someday develop some disease, I'm gonna want a cure for that or a good treatment for it that day. Well, it takes 10, 20, 30 years maybe to come up with that. So when I see Janelle, very, very encapsulated in Janelle and in her success um, is, is so much. 
These are the kind of things I've always wanted to do. Just an evening stroll. Nothing to it. <laughs>